Hi there, it's Ethan Miller from Miller & Miller Auctions. September 10th is fast approaching and wow, have we got an exciting sale planned. It's the Fenelon Falls Horseless Carriage Museum sale and we have a horseless carriage right here with the wow factor. This was a cornerstone in the museum for years. It is now featured in the sale, the 1907 Rio Touring Car. This vehicle has coolness embedded in every square inch. Take a look at the wooden fenders. Take a look at the fact that these headlights here were acetylene and how else to light them but a match Vesta hidden conveniently where you think the rad cap would normally be. This is turn of the century ingenuity. Absolutely incredible. Ransom E. Olds developed the Curve Dash Oldsmobile a few years earlier and then went on to found Rio, which was also Franklin Roosevelt's car of choice. Now this particular vehicle, we have the entire history since knew it was the first vehicle to drive down the main street of Sherbrooke, Quebec. George Henry Gray Sr. had his mind set on owning a horseless carriage, but at that time you couldn't buy horseless carriages in Canada. They weren't making them. So he had to go to Lansing, Michigan. He walked to pick up his Rio, and on the way back, something went terribly wrong. He didn't see an obstruction on the road and the wheel snagged it and it delayed his trip for two days while the wheel was repaired. Now the neatest thing of all is that that repair where you see it is exactly where it was repaired in 1907. One, two and three nuts. What an incredible vehicle here with a full Canadian history. This vehicle is estimated to sell between 40 and 60,000. You can check it out on the site. It's at MillerAndMillerAuctions.com. Follow the link below.